With just six months until digital switchover in the southwest, it's emerged that some digital televisions and set-top boxes will stop working, despite the promises that television screens won't go blank next year. Already some older digital equipment has stopped working, and some televisions and boxes bought as recently as 2005 will also stop working. And as you can see, some famous brands are affected, including Sony, Philips and Panasonic. Now, I must stress it's only certain models made by those companies, and you can find out which models on our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Devon. It's come about because of changes to the signal after switchover next year. When the analogue TV signal switched off next year, the new high power digital network that's replacing it is actually going to use a new transmission standard called 8K. That's got two major benefits for people. The first one is that it's going to be more resilient, so things like interference from your central heating systems at home, you won't notice anything like as much. And the second one is that it's actually going to give better reception for people in fringe areas, mainly through something called single frequency networks. But it's bound to anger those who've bought the sets affected and thought they'd made themselves future-proof. It also begs the question, how many more televisions and set-top boxes will stop working next year? The good news is that most of the integrated digital televisions affected will work with the addition of a new set-top box, and all equipment carrying a digital tick will continue to work after switchover. We asked the media regulator Ofcom and the BBC Trust for an interview, but no one was available.